Hey guys, how are you doing? I am back with another video and this time with my good friend, Sir Sugarcane. He's joining me again. It's about time. Okay, listen, Sir Sugarcane, it's not my fault you were away, away on vacation for like five weeks, which he was, guys. He went to Bermuda, how nice is that? But I am back and I'm so excited to tell you guys that I have finally taken the plunge and I am committing to making a video every week. <laughs> It literally only took me like four years. And yes, I am drinking coffee again. You know what, it's the circle of life. What goes around comes back around. I quit for a while, now I'm back on it. It's okay. I wanna to talk to you guys about relationships today and being yourself in a relationship, which is honestly a really hard thing to do. Many times we enter into relationships, friendships and romantic relationships that just aren't right for us and aren't natural. And a lot of the times it's because we feel the pressure to have to mold ourselves into something that other people will accept. Well, no true friendship or relationship is ever going to evolve that way if you're becoming something you think you need to be, because then you lose sight of who you really are. And do you really want friends and relationships in your life that don't let you be you? Be honest, let me know if you've ever done this. She's so cool and I really wanna be her friend. I know she really likes metal and rock music, so as long as I get this rocker chick look down, I am good to go. So uh, what's your favorite metal band? Oh my God, good thing you asked me because I love metal music so much. Obviously my favorite metal band is the Dying Black Swans. <laughs> They're so underrated and like so profound. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> they haven't made an album in forever. I'm kidding. You know that band doesn't exist, right? <laughs> You're crazy. You didn't know they existed? Girl, you need to catch up on your metal bands. Like seriously, they've been around since like, okay, I know they're not real. Do you even like metal? We've all been there and it's not a good feeling to try to make other people approve of you by being a certain way. Because at the end of the day, you're never gonna be truly happy. It's better to just be who you are. And if people judge you, uh, they might, it happens. Hey girl, oh my god, yeah, I'm so excited to go to this party tonight. Text me a picture of your outfit, I need to see it. Yeah, totally, I'm so excited too. I just took a picture of my outfit actually, so let me send it to you. <laughs> Is that what you're really wearing? <laughs> well, I thought since we're going to a party, it would be cool to kind of dress like myself and do something a little fun and outside of the box, because like, who cares what people really think, you know? <laughs> It's not a Halloween party, Kelly. Like, come on. <laughs> All right, I mean, I guess I could put something else on. That's a good girl. You wanna look hot, right? Not like an anime cartoon five-year-old store exploded all over you. You're really gonna walk into a party like that? Like, come on. <laughs> You know what? No. Kelly, I don't know what's gotten into you, but if you wear that outfit, I'm not going to the party with you. I'm rocking my Eevee backpack. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I think this Eevee backpack is pretty awesome. I would not be afraid to wear it in public. But you know, if I was trying to impress someone and I was really worried about what they thought and I wasn't confident enough, I might be, but that's hiding who I am. So remember, being yourself in a relationship with your friends or coworkers is so important and it's never anything that you have to be afraid of. Just remember that at the end of the day, your relationships are gonna feel so much more meaningful and matter so much more to you and give you more confidence. Now, this goes for romantic relationships as well. When you really like someone, you kind of wanna be perfect for them, but you can't really make yourself perfect for someone who is completely different than you. I can't believe I'm meeting his mom tonight. I'm so nervous. He's a scientist, but so far he's believed that I've been very scientific and very obsessed with scientific documentaries, even though I've never seen one in my entire life and I've been lying this whole time, but it's okay. I've rehearsed everything I need to say. She's going to love me. Mom, hi, I would like you to meet my wonderful girlfriend, Kelly. So Kelly, Jason tells me that you studied science in college. You two must be peas in a pod. What area of science did you study? Yeah, not only that, Mom, it's pretty crazy. She's also seen every single documentary I've ever seen. Kind of insane. It's almost as if she did research or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, Kelly, tell, tell, tell my mom about your college. Yes, I did study science of the neurological, uh, philosophical kind. No, I don't mean philosophy. I mean like, like science of like the body. Like, like I actually specialized in, in back spine pain. There was this one documentary called, um, The Spine, uh, uh Study of, um, it's my favorite, I, I'm just, oh, I'm drawing a blank on the name, um. 
Okay, I'm a big anime and cartoon geek and I'm spiritual and not scientific and I went to school for theater. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to go. So, yeah, situations like that might happen. Just remember that in new relationships or if you have a crush on someone or someone you like, changing yourself into a different person is never going to make that relationship real or authentic. Even if they fall for that version of yourself, you're not really being true to yourself and ultimately that just leads to unhappiness and an unhealthy relationship in general. Realize that as scary as it is, guys, you deserve to be yourself no matter what in a relationship. I know it's hard to put yourself out there, but at the end of the day, if you feel brave enough to do it, and if you just get to the point where you're like, I deserve to be loved for exactly who I am, yeah, people are gonna reject you, friends are gonna come and go, boyfriends and girlfriends are gonna come and go, but some people are gonna stay in your life for the long haul too, and that's how you know, you'll know, it's true. <laughs> No one's perfect. And I'm really excited to come back to you guys every week with a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed my advice on being yourself in relationships. And Sir Sugarcane and I will see you guys next time.